Thank you for watching Atopedia World videos. In this session of sales report, we'll see about back order. On internet, you would find many definitions of back order. This is the reason because it depends on your business process. Let's see some of the common definitions of back order. Definition of number one: While doing sales order, the material may not be available sometimes, and at that time. You will give the delivery date when you expect the goods to be in stock. Now, when the goods are available, if they are available earlier to the delivery date, we can go back with the sales order and deliver the goods before the first delivery date. This process is called as back order processing. Definition number two: Back order processing comes into picture when the stock is not available. That means when there is a customer order. and you check your inventory you find that the items that have been ordered are not presently available within the stock when high delivery priority customers places an order and if the stock is not available within the inventory that goes into open order stocks or back order now here it depends on your business rapo with different customers you may have one customer that is more important to you and another customer that you might want to keep on hold and in this process if the stock is not available we go to the open order stocks of low delivery priority customers and cancel the open orders of low delivery priority customers and assign the cancel stock of low delivery priority customer to the high delivery priority customers this process is called back order processing based on customer priority Let's see how the sales report looks within the SAP Business One. This is the back order main window. You can see there is a selection criteria. Now this report displays a list of overdue sales order or AR reserve invoices that cannot be shipped due to inventory shortages. It lets you define priorities and accelerates purchase or production orders related to your sales order. and you can run back order report daily weekly or monthly as per your business choices it also displays all sales order with an open quantity according to the selection criteria that you specify in the selection criteria you have delivery date the customer code the document number the item group and couple of warehouses that you have within your business when you run a back order report this is what you get let's take a look over back order report fields there is a delivery date the date from the row of an expected delivery from my item unit of measure the name of the inventory um or sales um as defined in the original document items per unit the number of items designed or defined in the original document order that is your original quantity of the items order in the sales order delivered that you have already delivered to the customer and back order that is the remaining quantity that you are yet to deliver to the customer let's see back order how it looks within the sap business one you can use this back order processing to track customer sales order received for which the inventory has not yet been shipped Normally this occurs when the available quantity is insufficient for to fill the order the back order process lets you check how much is missing and once the inventory is replenished you can ship the required quantity to your customer when you receive information on a back order you can handle by choosing one of the following ways you can deliver the necessary quantity to the customer you can choose to update the quantity after the delivery has been done or you can choose to close the remaining open quantity for that item or that customer and in addition to the, all these things sap business one also allows you to deliver a zero quantity let's see some typical business scenarios that sap business one can handle sap business one can handle manual back order closure 
as if business one can handle based on the priority customer the back order that are based on the customer priorities and it can also handle a regular back order process now a regular back order process can be understood like this that your customer calls and orders 115.6 inch LED screens from your company you check in the stock and you see that there are only 80 you deliver those 80 available quantity immediately and the remaining 20 quantity when you receive in your stock you deliver them to the customer now you can either make it or you can either purchase from the vendor and then deliver it back order processing based on the priority customer your company has a shortage of keyboards now two of your biggest customer prestige and pioneer have ordered 100 keyboards each but they have received only 50 so far now both companies are still waiting for another 50 finally you receive 50 more keyboards in stock and based on your customer priority you choose to go with prestige because that customer is more important to you and you deliver those 50 keyboards to the prestige first and you keep pioneer company on hold manual black order closure you can do a simple manual back order processing now let's see a regular back order process in detail as studied that your customer calls and orders 100 quantities you deliver only 80 because you have 80 in stock and then you wait for the 20 you can purchase from vendor or you can make it and then ship it let's see how this scenario will look in the SAP business one this is the sales order within the SAP business one I have chosen my item and I have put in the quantity and I have taken the customer as parameter technology what I can do I can go to the delivery and I can deliver 80 quantities because my inventory guy tells me that there are only 80 available quantity for this item so I do some changes and I put 80 here in the delivery and I deliver them you go to the back orders you run this report and you get that rainbow color printer that is the item for this customer has a back order quantity of 20 again you have an option either to make them or to purchase them in this case we are purchasing them so we purchase 20 of these quantities we receive them and then we deliver them and when you come to the your back order you can see that their row is no longer available that means that total 100 quantities have been shipped finally you can invoice the customer and you can get your money second scenario can be based on the priority customer now your company has a shortage in printers two of your biggest customer prestige and pioneer have ordered 100 keyboards each you have already shipped 50 printers both companies are still waiting for another 50 finally you get 50 printers in stock and then you ship based on the priority customer now here are two of the companies that we are taken in our SAP business one to just illustrate this back order scenario one is Earthshaker Corporation one is Machino Corporation you can see that the quantities that I have given is 100 for both of these customers I have delivered 50 of the quantities to both of these customers now when you run back order report the back order report gives you 50-50 quantity for each of these customers now let us suppose that you receive another 50 quantity in your stock you choose machino corporation based on your priority customer and you choose that you should ship another 50 quantity to this customer and you would let Earthshaker to wait for another couple of days this is the scenario of back order based on the priority customer let us see some of the unaddressed cost and few benefits of the back order there is an expedited shipping because you are in doing a back order 
you would want that the customer should be happy anyhow. This means that you do not charge or you give a discount in the shipping charges. There is a time wasted that is involved by our staff managing inventory and back orders without proper tools. There is a lost business that means cancel order, bad references and lost customers. Few benefits of back order. You will be able to build a rapport with the customer as they can see that your business is taking them seriously. Now partial fulfillment can also bring more business in a way that you are shipping the items to more than one customer at a time and fulfill the total quantity later. Now again these costs and these benefits are highly depending upon the business type that you are into.